So I got me my own homemade pumpkin spice iced coffee. And then I made me some avocado toast and a banana. But anywho, moving on. I wanted to do a video and just share with you guys when you are going to apply for a job or you go to a job interview, the information that we put on these applications, how dangerous it is that a company can let your information leak out and get into the hands of the wrong people. So I just wanted to share with you, I saw a ad and I think it was on Indeed, one of those job apps for Barney's New York. And it was basically just to do customer service. Anyway, I went ahead, I responded to it, and they sent me a form to fill out. So I went ahead and filled it out. It wasn't any like personal information. It was just basically just letting you know what they are to offer and this and that. They were offering $21 to $22 an hour. It was only for their big uh, season sale, which I think was their summer sale, which they have two large sales each year. And I think this was the summer sale. Then you get paid for the training. And I think the training was supposed to be for like one week, but the job was supposed to last for, I believe it said three months. But I have all the information I'm gonna put into this video to show you what I saw and then what was offered to me go ahead and take the position it was just short time and it was actually like right down the street from my house literally down the street and you know what let me take this it's only you know a little small time frame I can still do my other things and it'll give me some pocket money so that it, you know it's okay it's no problem it was on a Saturday and I believe it was like at one o'clock I went over there it was like in this industrial area like a warehouse kind of thing and I was like this is kind of strange but I dressed very professional went with my resume I go inside they had a table set up in this little hallway underneath these stairs they took your name fill out another application so I filled that out you would see people coming down that were just interviewing upstairs with different, um, I guess, workers there, and then taking you back upstairs. So I went upstairs with this one gentleman. It was just boxes everywhere, and it was extremely, extremely filthy. And I just thought, for such a very high-end company, how could it be like this messy? It just didn't make sense to me. It just something just didn't feel right. The guy asked a few questions in the interview. I basically answered them as honest as I could, and. And I asked him, okay, I just want to confirm, what's the amount of pay? Oh, you'll find out on the first day. And I thought, okay, well, this is strange. I said, because the information that I received, it said 21 to 22. Oh, they'll discuss that with you and go through the other paperwork when you come on your first day. Like, okay, what days is it? Oh, it'll be seven days a week. You'll have to ha be open to the schedule and it has to be from 9 in the morning till 10 at night. And I was like, okay, is that okay with you? And I said, yeah, it should be okay because it's, it's short term. Then I asked a few other questions. I said, you know, what's the dress code? And he was like, oh, jeans and t-shirts and tennis shoes. And I thought for customer service, you know, and I said, is there like corporate people here or anything? And he says, uh, there are, but you know, the president comes in, they don't pay attention or anything. The customer service manager, she was not there, of course, to speak to or get any answers from. I ended up going that following Monday. And I went ahead, went in for the first day. They have to give you um, these badges. Yeah, this is, they give you a badge with your picture on it, which that looks hideous of me. Barney's of New York. I went in, security guard walks you in, and it's just dark and gloomy, and it just looks uh, creepy. And it's very filthy and dirty they take you to this one room of course you have all these um, cameras and stuff I guess like the security area they take the picture of you and then within a matter of a few minutes they give you this badge and then they tell you to go sit in this uh, cafeteria let me tell you something 
This place was so filthy and disgusting. I didn't even want to touch a chair or touch a table or anything. And I was just like, what in the heck is going on? I was a little bit hungry. So I was like, you know, let me just try to f see if I can find something. They had all these different types of like vending machines and everything. So I went ahead and I got something. I was standing there to wait for it to drop through. Of course, my luck, I put my money in and the stuff doesn't drop down. So then I got to put more money in just to get more. Now, I'm, you know, getting double. But as I'm standing there, I turned to my right and there's like all these microwaves and this one lady she opened the microwave up in holy Toledo it's like a bomb went off in there like no one has ever cleaned that thing like are you kidding me I would never put my food in that kind of microwave or I just was so disgusted I go and sit down and then there's a few other people that come for the job as well for the turn to start training these people come in here like they're either going to a club or they just woke up and forgot to brush their hair. Um, they came in house shoes. And I just thought, okay, something's wrong here. It's either something wrong with me, you know, because I came in here dressed in a very nice dress, heels, you know, very presentable my hair my face immaculate so I said something's just not right here and they had all these lockers on this one wall and I would see all these people and I'm not trying to label anybody everybody needs a job and I totally understand that but it looked like they were harboring like all these foreigners and they were just throwing their pocketbooks their backpacks on tables on top of lockers they didn't have a place to even lock their things up and I just thought oh my god that's crazy and then the one lady comes in to the this room and she says are you guys here for the training and we were like yes and then she says okay you can just leave your purse over here and I looked at her and was like I'm not leaving my purse here unattended on a table and going upstairs to the next floor no that's not happening and she says oh well it's for security purposes mm, no you can look at my purse see what I have in it now and you can look at my purse again when I leave but I'm not leaving my identification here I'm not no it's not happening or we could just forget this deal because I'm, I'm not doing that she went ahead and let the four of us ladies take our purses upstairs but of course they had security had to go through our wallets go through everything and I thought this doesn't even make any sense I didn't come here to get a job to steal from people it's like this is like I, I've never been treated that way we go into this room upstairs. Boxes are everywhere. Just it, it just looks like a tornado came through this building. I said, you know, I need to use the restroom. I go into the restroom. And just the thought of it makes me sick. There's like puby hairs all over the toilet, all around the toilet. Smells like urine. All kind of hair in the sink. And I thought, oh my lord, do people not clean this place? Like, this is disgusting. Do they not have a cleaning crew or something? Like, I don't get it. I said, I'm not going to use the bathroom. I'll have to hold this until the end of the day and I'll have to go home. Or um, if they give us a lunch break, then I'll have to go home during the lunch break and use the bathroom because I'm not I'm not going in there. I go back into this room. They have these notebooks and, and pencils. They're going over all the policies they're going over all the details and letting you know that they have earrings that they only sell one earring one earring if you want two, you have to put two in your the, you know to order it and I thought where in the hell do you go to buy earrings and you only get one and then they were like fifteen hundred dollars just for one and then you had to pay I said oh my lord this is extremely like high-end stuff they have this like fill out paperwork again w-2s and everything we find out how much we make and you know this that she says oh you'll have to wait the the lady she comes in about three o'clock today and I thought this is like so unprofessional so unorganized like I don't get this oh we want you everybody get out a computer and stuff so we get a computer we had me and this other lady had to go on this other side of these uh, cubicles here the carpet is just like so gross dirty filthy stinks over there the chair they gave me it had like a mesh back and the mesh of the bottom part was already like it had defrayed from the chair the the armrests were like this foam that was like somebody's dog ate it 
And I was like, I told the lady, seriously, you want me to sit in this chair? <laughs> I mean, y'all can't like come up with some better people to sit on and to use or anything. The computer was like very old school. Somebody had chicken wings and they were eating them and typing, eating and typing. I said, oh, have mercy. I told the lady, I said, do you have like any wipes or anything to sanitize stuff? And she's like, no. I was like, oh my gosh, this is, so I had to go to the bathroom, get some soap with some tissue to come back and wipe the little mouse off and the keyboard and, and stuff. I, I said, you know what? I got to take a picture of this. And I simply was taking a picture to send to my husband to say, I cannot believe this kind of a company is organ I just don't get it it's just so disgusting I sat there and we waited and we waited I went to lunch with one of the other ladies in the training there was a homeless lady this is my area I pretty much know this woman I don't know her personally but I see her all the time hanging out at the Dunkin Donuts so I know she likes strawberry donuts and I know she likes a little cup of coffee or orange juice and when I do see her panhandling in front of the door I always you know, I will always get them something to eat, but I will never give you money. We were at the Wendy's. She's She comes inside and she's pacing back and forth. You know, this uh, manager comes over and he says, oh, you got to get out of here. He starts pushing her and he's just he's being, he's being ugly. You know, I understand that you don't want certain people in your business, you know, scaring off your customers and things like that. But at the same time, you got to have a little bit of a heart. I'm sure she could be a nuisance and things like that. But... She just wants food. Just give her, you know, what's a dollar, you know, chicken nuggets or whatever, you know. So I just, I walked over to her and I said, what do you need? And she says, I'm hungry. I want to eat. And you can tell this woman needs to eat. I was like, okay, I'm sure she's got a drug problem or alcohol problem. You can tell she's not right. She's got some mental issues. I've worked with, you know, families in this situation. So I told her, I said, what do you want? I'll get you whatever you want. Man, she had a whole list of this, 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 this. I mean, it was like five, a Frosty and a Diet Coke and, and she wanted a, some type of chicken wrap thingy. And then she wanted this. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Next thing I know, I'm standing in line waiting to order and the manager says, no, I can't order that for her. And I just looked at him and I said, what do you mean? How are you going to tell me that I can't order food for somebody? And he says, no, not for her. And so then this gentleman behind me, he got upset. And he says, you can't tell this woman she can't buy something for someone else. And then this other woman kicks in and then it's just like, it turns into this, you know, uncomfortable. I've already ordered my salad and it's sitting at the table with the person I came with from the job training, it just turns into such a ugly situation that in the meantime, she's so eager to, to get her food. You know, she keeps walking back to the door, walking to the door, then another lady comes and then she says, she makes a comment to her and then she starts physically pushing her and I said, hey, you, you don't have to do all that. You don't have to do all that. Okay, she's just waiting for something to eat. Oh, but she's always in here. And then, the, and next thing I know, look over, she's in the trash can in the parking lot digging through it for food. I was like, oh my gosh, she's thinking I'm not going to buy her something, you know? So they went ahead, they gave me the food quickly. I took it outside to her and the lady's like, you better be careful because she might mug you. She might... I said, she's not going to do anything. She's just, you know, she's homeless. She just wants something to eat for God's sake. Everybody just chill the hell out. I go back, I sit down to eat. Now I'm so upset about the whole situation. I can't even eat my salad or anything. I took, I took a few bites. This other coworker comes and she's like wiping tables down and I'm sitting with a lady from my job, African American. So this worker walks up and she says, oh, we had this problem with her the other day. This black woman came through the drive-thru to give her some food and I just looked at the lady at the Wendy's worker and I looked at my coworker and I said, are you serious? Did she just say what I thought she said? This woman doesn't even look like she's stable either. And who is she to be talking like this? And we ended up leaving the co-worker and I go back to the office. I'm still waiting to speak to somebody about days, shifts, um, um, you know, the pay rate, everything. Now here it is. It's like four o'clock. And I ask again, is that lady here so I can add, oh, she, um, she's running a little bit late. It was just like one thing after another, one thing after another. And I just said, oh my God, this is like such a freaking headache. Like nobody has answers. I don't even know what's going on. I I'm just 
so uncomfortable and everything. So they're like, okay, let's go do a tour. They take us for a tour around the second floor. We can't take you in the warehouse because, you know, it's high security. And, and I'm just thinking, my God, if you think that people are here to steal, then you shouldn't be here hiring people. Like, this doesn't make any sense to me. So they take us around. They show us different offices, different things. And it's just a very dark, dreary, filthy, disgusting place. Even the little kitchen that they have was just unbelievably, there was like mold all in the sink. And it was like, I, I've just, I've never experienced something to this extreme in my life with a job, never. I mean, I started with Sephora and that was one stupid nightmare, but nothing like this. Finally, the lady comes and, hey, are you the person that we speak to about our pay or anything? And then one of the girls says, oh, I think it's 17 an hour. And then another one says, no, it's 22 an hour. Like, nobody had facts. Nobody knew any, I mean, just nothing added up. And it was like, this person was told one thing, that person was told something else, I was told something else. It was just all miscommunication all the way around with everybody. I would say there was probably eight of us in there. Finally, the woman, she spoke to me. She says, yeah, it's going to be $17 an hour and this and that. And I was like, okay, all right, thank you very much. By this time, it was like five o'clock. It was like time to go. And because I didn't know, they kept saying, uh, to, they kept telling me in the, in the uh, interview, now, if you don't have to drive over here, you know, don't bring your car because it's limited parking spaces. Blah, blah, blah. So because it was so close to my house, I just, it was only $10. I took Uber and I said, you know what? I'll just tell my husband when you're done with work, can you come swing by and pick me up? He did. And when he came to pick me up, he was like, what in the hell is this place? And I said, I don't know. This is just a nightmare. So I started showing him the photos of the inside, like. I just don't I don't get it like it just doesn't make sense for such a high-end uh, company I started to notice that they treat their salespeople like royalty I mean of course they're in these gorgeous stores and things but they treat them top-notch they buy them lunch you know every day on every shift and they're like treated top royalty when you went to the area it was customer service these were like people in their pajamas, people like on their phone. I just never seen such unprofessional place in my life. I was just horrified and I just thought, okay, you know what? I can try to swing this maybe, you know, for the three months or whatever. And that's a whole nother thing. They said, you know, one, one person was told it was only like a, maybe a month and a half project as they put it another one said three months then another one said maybe longer than that then another one says oh maybe we'll put you on full time you know a permanent employee and da, da, da. I was like okay so you know I came home I showed my husband the photos and I told him exactly what happened I felt uncomfortable continue on if you can't be upfront and honest from the get-go about how much you're gonna pay the shifts the days you know if you can't have your information together, then that's not for me because I have a set schedule for things. I like to do things, you know, in a timely manner. I have a schedule for this, a schedule for that. So I was just, I was not happy. And my husband says, you, you don't need that. that that's not going to work. So anywho, I did finish the one day of training. I reached out to them, the customer service manager, and just said I would not be coming back. It is not for me and she was like okay and then that was it waited like a week for that because we came in like in the middle of their pay period so i said okay i'll get a check for one day or whatever i sent an email to the person that interviewed me and he just basically oh i'm gonna tell the customer service manager and then i would email her and then i get an instant reply that she's on vacation or she's out of the office or this or that this crap went on for freaking months i have all the emails I was so ticked off and then I finally had told him, I sent her an email and I said, if I do not have a paycheck and the BBB and Consumer Affairs and I'm filing a complaint and let me tell you, that lady had a check, a check FedEx to me, overnighted, tracking and everything to my house the very next day.
just last week I believe it was or no it was this week because this is Friday so it was it was this one day this week I think maybe Wednesday I received this letter from basically um, from an attorney and it just says here's the case number the debitor is as you can see Barney's New York I need to look at my credit report that if I have anything on there that's not mine I need to reach out to these uh, lawyers because unfortunately Barney's New York all employees information got leaked out their social security their addresses phone number, everything got leaked out but I don't know to who as you can see bankruptcy situation just thought oh my god this is so crazy like we don't think about working for a company and they're gonna release our information to anybody I mean I know that these breaches happen with credit cards or debit cards and you know things like that but my god you're working for a company and your stuff gets out there that's that's scary you know so I don't know if it was just a some type of tactic because they're filing bankruptcy or anything but that is scary but I just wanted to share this little story with you to be very cautious when you're going to work for a company especially when it's like a temporary kind of thing and now they have all your important information this is your life this is who you are this is like basically like your DNA um, you gotta be careful so this is basically all this video is about I was gonna take more photos but I I didn't um, it probably would have grossed you out if I did anyway anywho I just want to tell you thank you for watching this and listening to me um, talk to you about this I hope that it was helpful and it gives you some food for thought for when you do go if you do temp jobs or you know little gig be careful of the information you put on to your stuff and who they really are and things like that and who they're affiliated with it's very very important but this is the end and I just want to tell you thank you for watching the video and thank you for supporting me and I hope this was viable and helpful helpful to you I will see you in the next video.